Okay, welcome to the inserting a nasogastric tube MPC demonstration. Verify the order, so I looked in the electronic medical health record and there is an order to put an NG in Mr. Pooh today. So I'm going to assemble my equipment in the med room here. I need an NG tube, so this is a saline sump 16 French that will work. I need silk tape. Goo, the band, the rubber band, safety pin. I'm gonna take a cup just in case there's not one at his bedside. And I'm gonna take a protective liner. You can also use a towel for this. Some people prefer a towel. Okay, and I don't need tape. This is one of the few things where I don't need alcohol wipes or two by twos. Okay, let's go see Mr. Pooh and tell him what we're gonna do. Hey, Mr. Pooh, how you doing? Can you um, pop your arm out of the covers there so I can identify you? You can? Awesome. Thank you for doing that. Okay, Winnie the Pooh, 1929, 569. Winnie the Pooh, 1929, 569. Perfect. Okay, so, gel in. Okay, so when your doctor was here, he you know, you don't have any bowel sounds, no grumbles in your tummy, and you're nauseous. So he told you about that tube we're going to put down your nose. Okay. So I am here to do that. So let me put your bed up. Those rails are magic around here. <laughs> and I'm going to put the head of the bed up. There's a catch in the giddy up there, isn't there? There we go. Okay, that's far enough up. Okay. So have you had an NG tube before? No. Okay. So it is not that pleasant having it put in, but it's a whole lot less pleasant if while I'm putting it in, you pull it out and then we have to start over again. So if you need me to stop for any reason, don't grab my hand because that's likely to pull the tube out. Just raise your hand and I'll know that that means you need me to stop for a little bit, okay? Good. All right, let's put a towel on your chest here, just in case. Don't want to be too messy. And I've got some water in a cup here for you. And also have an emesis basin. So if you need to throw up, you've got that. I'm going to put this cup with some water in your hand here. When I tell you to, you're going to take a few sips of water, OK? If you, um, that'll help it go in the right place. OK. Again, the first thing I'm going to do is measure this tube so it expires. Okay, it expires in 2014, so I'm good and the package is intact. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is we're going to check your nose and see which side you're breathing the best out of. So big breath in, big breath in. Okay, so it sounds like this side is a little clearer, so that's the side I'm going to put the tube in so it'll go in easier.
Okay, so now I need to measure this to make sure that it goes in the right location. Okay, so just put it at the tip of your nose, go around the ear here, and down to the tip of your xiphoid process. So we are at the 60 mark. So if this tube didn't have markings, I could put a piece of tape there, but since this one has markings, I can just remember which marking I have to go to. Okay. And then I need, oh goodness, I forgot to get a 60 milliliter catheter tip syringe. So I'm just gonna push the call light, bing have someone, my nurse's aide, come and get that and get that for me today. And a stethoscope, because I forgot both of those items. You rang. <laughs> I need that 60cc syringe with a cap tip and a stethoscope, please. Sure, hang on one moment. There you go. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Coffee on me later. <laughs> okay. So let's get this syringe out. And put 30 cc's of air in it. Oh, 20 these days, okay. take this, but I'm going to keep it where I know where it is because I'm going to need it. Okay, now in the real world on a human, you would lubricate this a lot because that's what will help it be less painful. Obviously on the mannequins we don't put lubricant down them, so I'll take my water-based lubricant and then I usually like to put a big blob of it right on the tip of the tube so it sort of coats their nose and goes all the way down. Okay Mr. Pooh, we're ready to go here. So what I'm going to want you to do is lean your head forward and then when I tell you I want you to lean your head back and that's when you're going to bring the cup up and drink, okay? Perfect. Here we go. Okay, now lean your head back, bring the cup up for a drink. Good job. Keep going, keep going. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. We are where we want to be. You did a great job, Mr. Pooh. Thank you. Okay, so put that in my ears. Okay, I'm just going to check and make sure I got this in the right place. I'm this over the stomach. Whoosh. Okay, heard the whoosh, so it is where it belongs. And I'm also going to, sorry about that, pull back real quick. Excellent, nice green GI contents. Okay, so the tube's where we want it. So I am going to let go, but I'm going to keep an eye on it because they tend to move if you don't keep an eye on it. Now I could have torn my tape earlier, which would of course made my life easier, but hey, some of us just like to do it the hard way. Oh dear. Okay, and to do an NG tube, you make pants, so I'm gonna tear this in half. Okay, it's not gonna let me do that. Sorry, Mr. Pooh, I'm going to have to take these gloves off and... Okay, so you want to tear the tape down the middle, leave a spot for the nose, then you fold the tips over like making cuffs. Right. 
it's hard to get silk tape to tear down the center if you don't have a fingernail to start it. But gloves are everywhere. Okay, so we take this tape we prepared and put it on the nose. And then we're going to take and wrap it around the tube. This one's going to go under. And this one goes under. So it's not too tight up against the nose so that it won't cause um, pressure sore on the tip of his nose, but yet it's nicely taped. Then we take this other short piece, go right across the bridge of the nose, and just to tape that down, make sure you keep it out of their eyes. Okay. Hold this above the stomach anytime you have it open, otherwise you're likely to get an unpleasant surprise. Hook it into the suction, put it up above their head so it doesn't drain all over their gown. And you can take this rubber band and kind of shoot the loop with it, so like this. Take your safety pin, hook it through there, hook it to their gown. Okay, that feel okay, Mr. Do? Mr. Pooh? <laughs> I can't tell who you are anymore, I'm sorry. Okay, Mr. Pooh, I'm going to turn this on to intermittent and turn it up to low intermittent suction like the physician ordered. Okay, I have to take the water away from you and you can't have anything to drink while this tube is in. I'm, I'm sorry, but we do have swishes for your mouth so we can do some sponges if you need to. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Pooh. Oh, and I need to chart. Okay, let me take these gloves off as I gather up my trash. All right, let's chart. So this would be in the flow sheet, and I'd go to the electronic medical record under NG tube, and then I would just put that I put a 16 French saline sump in the right nair, and that I did that on 8.5 at 110, and that I checked it with air, and that I checked it with return. And we are done.